Hi guys, welcome back. This is Educational Code Forces round 155 and we're gonna solve the third problem that is make it alternating. It is the C problem here. So let's see what the problem states. So they will be giving you a binary sequence. A binary sequence is like a combination of like uh, zeros and ones, okay? So this is one example. And they're asking us to uh, perform a following operation on this string. Uh, like any number of times you can do. You can choose an index and remove that character from the array. So let's say I'm choosing the second index and removing this, choosing this characters, simply removing it. But the catch is you need to make the string alternating. That is, if you start from one, it should be one zero one zero, or if you start from zero, it should be zero one zero one. That is, no two character consecutive characters or adjacent characters should be same. If you have one one, it is not invalid. Now, uh, what they're asking is, uh, you you performed, you remove those values and make it alternating. What is the minimum number of operations to make the string S alternating? So here in this case, you can remove this and you can remove this also, right? Then also 10101 is alternating. But if it's already alternating, we don't have to remove. In this case, the minimum number of alternating is three. Now, the number of different shortest sequence of operation that make S alternating, that means Suppose if x is the position and y is this position and z is this position. These are same numbers, so they try remove. So x, y, z is one sequence. Y, z, x is also another sequence. That is, I can remove x first, then y first, then z first. Then y first, z first, and x first, I can remove like that. Or z first, y first, x also, I can remove. Those are all are different. So in other case, instead of this zero, if this is x, let's say x dash is, uh, I'm removing this x dash. Let's just preserve this x. Now x dash y z is one sequence, y z x dash is one sequence. Suppose instead of this y, you can put this as y dash and uh, remove this one, keeping this one. y dash z x also will be one sequence. So uh, we know that there are at least three numbers that need to be removed to make it alternating. And there are many number of sequences. That is what we need to find out. So let's understand this quickly with the help of an example. So first thing, one zero zero one zero. We know that out of these two, one zero need to be removed. So we kept one here. And what are these two? Either the second index zero or the third index zero. So we have two different sequence. One, one, one. So in one, 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 only one needs to come. Other two I need to remove. I can remove the first and third or second, second. What do you mean by two and two is? You remove the second element. If you remove the second element, the third element becomes the second element. That's why you're removing the two, uh, second index again. So only this one remains. Similarly for three, two, you remove the third and second index. So there are telling that there are six different sequences uh, for a number of uh, two different operations. That is two for two erasing, uh, you have six different operations. Now, six different sequences for two operation. 0 and 0 1 it is already alternate so i say that no you don't need to remove anything that is zero but the number of shorter sequence is one how did they get one is they are telling that if you are getting an empty sequence also you need to report it so that's why you got one so i hope the question is clear you just need you have a binary sequence you need to remove some characters so that to make it alternating uh, how many minimum number of sequence you need to remove and in order to achieve that how many now, total number of shorter sequence exist to achieve that minimum number of sequence. So let's try to understand this with the help of an example. This is one random binary string I took. Let's map it with index so that uh, we'll understand it better. So this is uh, a big sequence, but I hope this will be pretty clear. Now, as we know, uh, if it is alternating, we can just keep it right. So if this is one, I'm exactly keeping, but here there are two extra zeros. So I just need to keep only one zero here. This is one and this is zero. Okay, I can directly write it. This is one, this is zero, this is one, this is zero. And out of these two, this is uh, one only I should keep. And out of these three, I should pick only zero. Other two zeros I need to remove. So what is one thing? What is the obvious thing that comes to our mind is if there are any extra numbers that are consecutive to a number, we need to remove that. So here, how many two extras are coming, right? If two extras are coming on a sequence of one, two, three, and uh, again, one extra is coming on a sequence of eight and nine. Again, two extras are coming. Two extra means either 10, 11 can be extra, 11, 12 can be extra, 10, 12 can be extra, anything can be extra. Out of three numbers, two extras are coming. So that is a 10, 11, 12. Now, obviously we can say that these five characters definitely need to be removed. Two plus one plus two. That is two plus one plus two is five. So at least we need 
five operations five removals five erasing in the array to make it alternate now next comes the challenging part how many number of sequences exist how many number of sequence exist means i can remove one two index and eighth index and tenth and eleventh index okay or i can remove second index third index ninth index eleventh index twelfth index also many things so to understand this further let's create uh, this one two three and these are all zero zero zeros now eight and nine this is one one and we have uh, 10 11 12 right 10 11 12 so this is 0 0 0 now i want to know who all things can be removed i can choose these two and i can attack this guy i can remove this one and i need to remove 10 11 also so 10 11 i need to remove or as per my second condition i can remove these two numbers and i can remove 8 or remove 9 and i am taking that 11 12 can be removed so like this many different combinations can come right so definitely i know that out of these three i need to pick two to remove uh, one i need to remove and here a uh, two i need to remove but how many numbers i need to remove only five are possible so from this what did you understand out of three that is the total number of index the same numbers multiplied by two multiplied by three so i need I have 18 different uh, combinations that are possible that is like 1, 2, 8, 10, 11, 2, 3, 9, 10, 9, 11, 12 similarly many things can come okay uh, as you told earlier here x, y, z, y, z, x, x dash, y, z uh, many different things can come so we are getting something like 18 if I try all the possibilities 18 can come but this is of only one order so as I told earlier x, y, z is 1 we are trying to get only this but yzx is also existing right yzx we are not taking we are not taking 9th as the first element and 11th as the second element and 12th as the third element we are not taking the order we just took who are all the candidates that need to be removed i am telling that 18 different things are there but 18 different things have many positions so see let's say 1 to 8 10 11 are the sequence i need to remove i can write it like 8 i can remove first 2 i can remove first then 1 then 10 then 11 or you can remove like 2 first 10 first 11 first 1 first and uh, 8 first 8 sorry 2 first 10 second 11 1 8 or you can write like 11 1 uh, 10 etc similarly for 2 3 9 also you can do 9 3 2 11 12 right the arrangement also can change so we got this sequence first 18 sequence are there but how do you know what are these numbers how do you know the arrangements so basic math we know five different uh, uh, boxes are here and i have five different numbers let's say for this alone i have five different numbers are here that is five is what the number of extras i need to remove so how many number of ways i can fix the fifth number that is to delete the first number i can choose out of five indexes i can choose one right out of five i can choose one name if i are removed now four now three two one right so uh, five i can out of the five uh, removal index i got from here i can choose five then if i fix one uh, i have four different numbers three different numbers two different numbers one different number so what is this this is just five factorial right 5 factorial is what 120 so for this alone 1 2 8 10 11 alone i have 120 different arrangements similarly for 2 3 9 11 12 alone i have 120 different arrangements 9 11 12 something like 9 11 12 some other numbers okay that is uh, let's say 3 1 this also have 120 different numbers so what i have to do i need to try all the different combinations multiplied by 120 so i get like this can go till 18 different numbers 18 different combinations can come as i illustrated earlier but they are telling that the index differs also is considered a different sequence so for that i fixed five different blocks and out of this five i've uh, tried what are all the different arrangements that are possible i got it as five factorial then the existing 18 i am multiplying it by 120 you get something like 2160 so 2160 shorter sequence exists uh, with different combination and permutation uh, to achieve the number so that's all now let's understand this with the help of an uh, example on how did we code it now what did we do s of i equal to s of i plus 1 i if it is equal i get the extras so how did we illustrate it so let's say let's keep this here so let's keep this here so that uh, it will be easier for us to learn 
So, okay, now let's change the color. Okay, so now you know s of i equal to s of i plus 1 means here we know that 1 equal to equal to 2, 2 equal to equal to 3. That means what? Extras you got as 1, right? Extras you got as 2. Extras equal to 1 and extras equal to 2 for this sequence. Now, minimum operations means what? I need to say that at least I need uh, two numbers need to be removed on this sequence alone. That is, all these are same. I am adding it to the final element. That is, uh, I fixed the first position in the answer, right? That is minimum operations. You just have to print minimum operations. Whenever you are hitting an alternate element, I just want to add the minimum operations here. So uh, here three are same, zero one is alternate. So already I got that two are same here. This is this and same, this is this and same. So two, I am taking two here, two extras are here. Now, why am I taking extras plus plus? So here, uh, if I have two extras, I mean that there are three different index I can choose from, right? Two can be removed, but I have three different index. That's why I kept extras plus plus. Result into extras. I'll come for mod later. I just want to multiply it. What did I multiply here? As I told earlier, there are uh, three, right? Three into two into three. That's how we got 18. Six, six, threes are 18. So if I get an alternate number, I got three here and somewhere I'll get two here. I'll, somewhere I'll get uh, uh, two here and here also I'll get three here. So three and uh, if this is alternating, I multiply it by two and again I multiply it by three. Whenever I am finding an alternate element, I know that there are no extras here. So I have to reset the value. So offset the value to zero. Now again, is it equal? It is not equal. So everything. What is the extras value? Extras value is zero only. So it goes here. Extras is zero. Extras plus plus is one. So it, the number is not changing if it is an alternate value. Only if it's the same value, the number changes. Now, why did we keep the after the for loop? We keep it because here we got extras value as two, right? Uh, but we need to calculate this to answer, right? Inside for loop, it's not possible. I'm going to n minus one and seeing the last two elements and coming out. But we need to handle this number also. To handle this number, I am taking this two. I if I tell that extra is not equal to zero, means there exists an extra which I need to add it to the element minimum operations. So I am adding two here. So that is this one I get added here. Extra plus plus. Why do I do? Because this gives the number of index. Number of index I am multiplying it with the result. Okay, now it's done. Now uh, what did I do? As I told earlier, I have minimum number of operations represents the factorial right so for 1 2 8 10 11 i have 120 ways how did i get 120 ways 120 ways of arrangement means uh, for a boxes of like 5 i can pick this number i can arrange these numbers in 5 factorial format so that's how i got 120 so i get calculated 120 from here and existing one result into factorial that means already i got 18 18 different combinations are possible and out of the combination, I can do 120 different arrangements. So 18 into 120, we get the final answer. So minimum operations and result represents 18 uh, cross 120, that is 2160, something like that. Now, why did we keep mod here is, see, it's like a very, very big number, right? Uh, this is, uh, let's say, 2 into 10 power 5. We get, uh, if we keep on multiplying big, big, big numbers, uh, our any our numbers can't handle it in long long or integer have 2 per 31 only uh, it can't handle a big number so they are asking us to use something called as mod if you do mod their hash and our hash will be same so if you want to multiply it there is a general rule that if you want to multiply a into b you just have to do a mod mod into b mod mod b mod mod the whole mod mod so next time if you find a similar problem just add mod here add mod here and the whole mod mod it will be the same so you can read more on this on the internet so wherever i multiplied it i simply added mod 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 like that okay so that's all about it and uh, this is the solution number you can just check it and try to hack it also i don't know it is accepted here and please let me know in the comments what do you feel about the video and uh, see you in the next video guys thank you